J Marvelous from channel which is today and I'm coming back to you with another video and this is going to be a trailer reaction for the Marvel Midnight Sun day. So strap in and enjoy. This world has no hope under your watch. We see Venom, that's nice. So it looks like we're gonna have Spider-Man in here. It also could be just that they're dealing with Ghost Rider because I've read comics and Venom and Ghost Rider do have a history as well. As for the animation, I mean, I will, I'm gonna have to see more the, more for me to give an answer on the animation because I've seen, I'm looking at Blade in the beginning. It looks a little bit like what you call it, the black Fortnite characters. That's how Blade is looking right now. So I'm gonna have to see more animation and better lighting and stuff to, what you call it, give my final answer on the animation. Surrender your pain to me. And I will make you whole once more. Okay, I see. Then I'm running away from, it looks like another baddie. It looks like another guy, another girl, equal, more vicious than him, somebody more stronger and powerful than him. Okay, I don't mind that. What I do mind is that they didn't show Venom trying to also run up the walls. They should have, she, what you call it. After she made herself known and Venom decided, okay, this appears to be strong enough for me to need to run away from it. After that wall was blocked, he should have ran up the walls or, you know, just web swing up um, up the top of the walls because he does have basically the powers of Spider-Man times a thousand with a few of his own. They didn't write that part too well when it was making this trailer. Child, mother won't hurt you. <laughs> Typical Parker look. I'm gonna need some backup. I don't know. I'm not really feeling that Spider-Man suit. Not as a base level suit. Um, it's, 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 it looks like that, uh, what you call it, Marvel Universe Spider-Man suit that they got going on right now, but I'm not feeling that. Not as a base Spider-Man suit. You gotta go back to the classic and not just the colors, but how it's constructed, how the design one the actual suit is constructed. That belt should go all the way across. Well, I don't know when that suit appears because they just showed Spider-Man with a different suit already. That or that's a different Spider-Man. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when the game comes out. That animation, it's looking all right. It's different than what I, I'm, I'm used to, but it's looking all right. Now, what is cool though, now what another thing is, is that what you call it. They got a double Hulk. They got Hulk obviously turned by some sort of magic. But the problem with that is, is that it's already been kind of written in the comics that magic doesn't affect Hulk. Unless it's the like ultimate universe version of the Hulk. That's the only time, well, not the only time, but that's the only thing I have not seen a version of Hulk where I've seen it not written into the lore that he's not affected by magic. 
Because, yeah, like, recently, when they gave Spider-Man the powers of the Hulk, well, that's not all that recent, but when they did that, they basically said Hulk wasn't affected by magic. <laughs> That Doctor Strange skin looks terrible. We, you need to redo it. That's a fake Doctor Strange. Like when they they had to redo Thor because and on the Avengers game because it was like that's a fake Thor. Redo Doctor Strange, bro. Like for real. Counting on you again, old friend. Three, two, one. Used to always work. Well, it did that one time. Okay, now that Spider-Man suit is looking nice. I, I'm liking this. It looks like an original suit for this game. So this game is looking pretty interesting. I think I'll get it. I'm uh, when it comes out. So tell me your thoughts. Are you guys interested in the game? Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And this is Jay Marvelous from Channel Witch Day Today signing out.